Hey everyone, it is seven o'clock on Saturday. So I am jumping on to do my Share It Saturday with you. And I had mentioned that I was going to show you the actual technique that I did during my mystery card. Hi Anne, hi Nicole. Thanks so much you guys for popping on. Um, I was going to show you guys the actual technique that I did for my mystery card Monday. So, if you have oodles and oodles of designer series paper lying around, or if you um, love to hang on to all of your scraps, which I like to do, this technique is perfect for that. Um, the other really nice thing about it is because Stamping Up does coordinate their colors and their family groups and things like that. If you do happen to have lots of Stampin' Up! paper lying around, this is a great technique for that. So, I'm gonna get started, and I'm actually working with the exact same palette that I did on Monday. So you'll see exactly how, hi Kristen, you'll see exactly how I put that actual card together. So, hi Jen. So I'm gonna tilt the camera down and I'm gonna get started so that you guys can see what I'm working with. So I am working with, and I love this, this is our little miniature guillotine. And for those of you that um, were around a, a couple of seasons ago, this was actually offered as an incentive if you joined Stamping Up. And it is so great. It's great for photos, it's great for cutting up scraps and stuff. So. I am gonna show you, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take, now I've just got three sheets here and I have cut up um, a little bit more, but you're just gonna take your designer series paper and now if you don't have one of these, that's okay. You can use any kind of paper trimmer, but I will mention that right now, if you actually sign up and become a demonstrator, this is now actually one of our supply items. So you can get your hands on this if you are a demonstrator. Okay, so you're just gonna want to literally cut. And you wanna sort of have a little bit of an angle, but there's no right or wrong way when you're cutting your paper. You just wanna cut them into strips, as you can see. What's nice, again, with our designer series paper is you've got your front and your back sides, so they're gonna coordinate. I'm just gonna shake that piece out. I'm gonna do another one just so you guys can literally see how easy, quick, simple it is. Now, depending on the size of card that you're working with, you will want to make longer strips. Reason being is they are going to hang over the edge of your mat, and you'll see that when I actually start putting the card together. I'm just gonna do one more here. All right. And you can see how quick and easy. So if you have like designer series, like strips after you've say made some cards or you've done some scrapbooking and you don't wanna put them away, you can just take out your paper trimmer, literally cut up your scraps, throw them into like a little shoe box or you can throw them into a bag, you can throw them, you know, whatever you want to do with them. And, oh, there we go, I'm just gonna shake that one out. I'm gonna come back in and just do a couple more again. Okay, so, as you can see, and you do want to create a lot of strips. So I'm just gonna bring this back in and show you. Now, I did pre-cut some strips, but now I just have oodles and oodles of coordinating strips. Now, when you're working with your design, you can do whatever you want. I wanted a combination of both the red and the black. I'm just gonna lay this down though. But you can, if you wanted, I'll just sort of build something quickly just to show you how easy, you could, if you wanted just to do something that was like just black and white, you can totally do that. And again, you just go through your strips and kind of pick what you like and you build whatever you want. 
So it's kind of fun. Now with some of them, with this one in particular, I do some of the patterns, like the hearts, I want them to go a certain way. But really, so there's there's one quick layout, check that out. If you just wanted to keep things all in a black and white scheme, you could totally do that. I'm gonna set those aside. And I did already, just cause I figured this would be easier, I did already pick a scheme so and sort of laid them out. So what's gonna happen is you're going to, and I'll just show you, you're just gonna take your mat just like that and you are literally, the only thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you line up your first edge right up alongside the edge of that cardstock. So again, I like my Tombow glue and I like to put the Tombow right onto the card. So, or the mat, I should say. So I'm gonna just start this one off and I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna glue that down just like that. Then, now with this one, I'm gonna leave a little space in between so that each color has, I was showing a little bit of a matte black space. I know on Monday I showed you how you can do them where they're like butted up right up against each other, but I really like the look of having just that little bit of space in between. So again, you are just gonna start building your card and like you can see, I am just putting the strips on. I just realized that I forgot my scissors, so I'm gonna ask my husband if he can grab me a pair of scissors. Alton, do you mind grabbing me a pair of scissors? Um, okay, I am doing this live. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's totally coming together and you're just going to glue those strips on piece by piece by piece as you can see there and I'm almost done so yep thank you he thankfully brought me my scissors so I didn't have to run away. And you might look at this and say, ooh, that doesn't look all that pretty. But once you've put it together, you're going to trim off all of those edges, as you will see momentarily. All right. So, there we go. I have put that together. I'm gonna to hold that up so you can see it. So I know it kind of looks funny and all of that, just like that. That's what it's gonna look like along the back. So you'll be able to see exactly where to trim. So just gonna take my scissors. I guess I actually could have used my paper trimmer too. I didn't realize that. But I like the control of the scissors because then I can take it piece by piece. So you're just literally going to cut around that mat just like that. I'm gonna cut that down. And I'm just gonna come back in. There we go. And check it out. Now you've got this perfect mat with, and you can do it either way too. Actually, you know what? I might do my card this way. So you can decide which way you want your card to go. And I think I am actually gonna do it this way. So, now I know I've talked about this little tip before. So this is my other mat. And because, there, I should hold it up like that. Because it's going to get covered, I used it to cut out my little die cut hard to see against my black shirt so there it is so I'm also going to show you how quick and simple it is to color I'm gonna color this little guy I love him he is from the new uh, playful pets set and the colors that I'm working with are light crumb cake light smoky slate and dark smoky slate so oh I forgot my red that's okay I can do it after so I'm just gonna come in and my lightest color 
I'm just going to come in and do a few little touches with this. And again, when you're coloring, especially with our blends, there is honestly no right or wrong way. I'm gonna come in now with my smoky slate, light smoky slate, and color in most of my puppy dog here. And with some of it too, I'm gonna go over top of that crumb cake just to blend out that color a little bit. I'm gonna do a little cute face. I did pre-stamp him and cut him because I figured you've seen that, you know how to do that. It's the coloring that's the most important. And then I'm gonna come in there and then I'm gonna come in with my darkest color and again, Stamping Up's made it really nice because you can kind of see where you can go in and put in your darker colors. And the nice thing too, is if you don't like how it looks, you can always go back and add more color. You can do whatever you want. Today, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of color around his eye because I think that would be cute. So again, no right or wrong. And I'm gonna go back again with my smoky slate because I actually want them a little bit darker in some of the spots. So I'm gonna color over top just like that. And one more with my dark. And the more you layer your color, the darker it is going to get. So that's the nice thing, is that you can continue just to add in color. Now, I did forget my red, but I will show you the finished card of the other one. So there is this super cute little guy. There he is, all finished and colored. So now, I'm just gonna put together the card. So I'm gonna take my mat and I'm going to glue that onto my card base, just like that. And then I'm going to, I am actually going to do it this way. So, just to give a little bit of a different feel. So the other thing I could have done too was made my stripes go this way as well but I like the look of this. So I'm gonna do it like that. And then I've got my three dies, so I'm just gonna put those together. And these all layer beautifully. So I'm just going to put those together. And Put that together. There we go. And I'm gonna put some dimensions onto the back here. So how have your Saturdays been going, ladies? It is very hot and humid here. They are calling for rain. So hopefully we will get a little bit of rain to cool things off. There we go. I'm gonna just plop that down right in the center. Then I'm gonna take my little puppy, throw on some dimensions. I'll go back later and color in his little collar. But there we go. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So there he is. I'm just gonna lift you guys back up. There we go. Oh, and she's enjoying the hot weather. Yes, I like the hot weather. I don't like the humidity. That's what I find. So there he is on going that way. And I will also show this little feller going this way. So again, you can literally do so much. I like the look of this one actually a lot. Thank you for the love, you guys. So that is a really, really simple, easy way 
to use up. And you know what, here's the other thing. If you don't have designer series paper or you don't wanna use your designer series paper, Nicole said she hates summer. Oh, I'm such a summer baby. I love, 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 love summer. Um, if you don't wanna use designer series paper, the other thing that you can do is you can totally use cardstock. You can take, what I would do is you could literally cut, cut mats of cardstock, run them through an embossing folder, and then cut them into strips and you could do the exact, oh, I'm totally gonna do that now. I'm totally gonna make a card that looks like that. Totally use embossing folders and totally, oh, someone says, hi, Mary Ellen. So hi, Mary Ellen. Um, but yes, you could, totally getting myself distracted, use cardstock, emboss them, cut them up, and do that exact same technique. And then you'd have like textured paper, which would be super, super, super cool. So, hi Mary Ellen, thanks for popping on. Um, yes, so I am actually going to try that, not tonight, because um, I got a class tomorrow that I have to finish up for, but I'm gonna try it with embossing folders. And if anybody else actually tries it with an embossing folder, please, please, please post it. I would love to see what you come up with. It is Share It Saturday. So if you have been working on something, doesn't matter what it is, um, or if you've been reading a good book, or you cooked an incredible meal, feel free to post a picture on the Share It Saturday. I'm gonna take another picture of this and, and post it as well with a picture of the strips so you can totally throw it up right there. Throw it up, not literally. Hi, Lena, thanks for popping on. So I'll show you the card I did. I did show this technique and actually I turned it the other way this time and I actually really like how he turned out. So yes. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of your long weekend. I actually completely forgot that this was long weekend this weekend. So yes, enjoy your long weekend guys and have a fantastic night. Bye.